Thank you for coming back, guys, uh, for staying tuned. So we're talking about commitment, guys. And so we were talking about boxes that we've felt limited to. Yeah. Like, especially, you know, you're committed to something. It could be something that you want to pick up, um, a, a talent or something that you're like, hey, once I maybe, maybe this is my thing. Okay. And you, yeah, it's, it's kind of my thing. And let me just pick up this passion. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> but, but yeah, so, you know, and there's always that time when people want to place you in that box. They're like, this is not human possible. It's not humanly possible for you to be doing like uh, journalism and at the same time doing like a sports. Like if you picked up sprinting today, but they would be shocked. Yeah. I'd be shocked, but I, I would be shocked as well. Yeah, but <laughs> but you, you should not be limited to our shock. Maybe you know what is. I mean? Mm. So what are those things? <laughs> what got you to the place? <laughs> what got you to the place where you talked yourself into? Um, accepting that you're committed to something um, were there certain things certain phrases you say to yourself i'm um, maybe from outside there's certain people who had these conversations with you and yeah what were those things that made you say okay now I, it's okay for me to be committed to what i want to pursue oh okay ah uh, that's a that's a nini i think i um as as the craft grew right. and, they, and they noticed so many genres of the same thing mm -hmm. I grew to love it. Right. Yes. Right, right. So my passion began in becoming better and better mm. every single day. Right. And right. sometimes I could say proving the people who thought that I would not do this wrong. Right. Okay. okay. And doing it in the best possible way that I could. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Sheila, were, were there any certain, were there certain phrases you had in your mind? It could be scripture. I know scripture is one of the. the I mean, it is the the absolute. Mm -hmm. um, what were there certain phrases? Mm -hmm. Were there certain phrases you would tell yourself that would okay your being committed to a goal or something that you were pursuing? I think for me it wasn't um, phrases as much. I think for me it was a lot of meditation okay. and just getting my mind because I think once my mind is set on something, then mm -hmm. I am I'm like on it, yeah. Mm -hmm. So for me it was just a matter of getting my mind focused on this thing and like like. Um, Get into a place of yani tunasema tunaenda na tunaenda tukaenda tunaenda tukienda anga so as soon as my mind is get is at that place then i think i'm ready to go so of course <clears throat> like with this business at first it was like hey yeah and yeah, so so we are, we are actually doing this mm -hmm. so like it's yeah. it's actually happening mm -hmm. okay all right but then it got to a point where i'm like we are literally all we're going to do is just walk out of this boat mm -hmm walk on the water keep our eyes on jesus mm -hmm. because again this is an industry we are not so familiar with we're learning as we go and we've learned so much already mm -hmm. um but our main thing has always been walk out the boat walk on the water mm -hmm. keep your eyes on jesus mm -hmm. no matter what is going around going on around you mm -hmm. keep your eyes on jesus because he's the author and finisher of this of, yeah. of our faith and of this business yeah. so for us, for me, it was it's faith and trust that has really, really wow. kept us going. Like, for real, wow. trusting wow. in God and being at rest and knowing that you know He He has our best interest at at heart, right. and just knowing that He you know He cares and mm. He will not let us fail because from the very inception, mm. He's we've placed Him at the center. Like wow. He's been the drive. So that's, that's what has helped us. That's quite. I, that's, that's, I admire yeah. that. I admire that. Yes. Yeah. The putting your faith in Christ mm. um, and you talked about the author and the finisher of your faith yeah. you know I'm reminded of a scripture in Luke 9 I actually have it here um, Luke 9 62 where Christ was telling someone that if you put your hand to the plow and return from it and you remove your hand mm. from the plow and take it off that's what it actually says you fit. put your hand to the yeah you put your hand to the plow and remove it you're not fit of the calling yeah. but me those things scare me and i know at home even you who's watching there's all this that's why i talked about all absolutes there are times when you're like manze am i actually committed to what i'm doing or am i not and there's no sadly to say there's no in between because if you really are committed you will go out of your way even by faith to do that which he has called you to do like we've all said here yeah, whether it's business or it is journalism or anything else that has been has not been talked of here there are times when you have to just step out you step out and follow that by by obedience mm. and you just trust god that as you put your hand to the plow you know a plow for those who might not know is it was like an i call it old school tool mm -hmm. for for farming and so i think it's uh, is it for weeding uh, rooting out uh, weeds or just like um it's called kupalilia kwa kwa Kiswahili, something where you prepare the ground for mm. for farming. So now, Christ was talking about how you cannot, if you're certain 
and that's why I remember even he talked about when in the scripture there's somewhere where he says um, if he, there's someone who was like let me go and fast bury was it bury my dad my was it Peter yeah. yeah let me go and bury or someone and come back. yeah and then come yeah. back he's like you let the dead bury their own dead you take your cross and follow me so there are times when Christ is like man say this is the time this mm. is the time I'm opening up doors for finances. It could be a business opportunity that you have, an idea that you want to push. Maybe there's someone you want to um, get in touch with. You can even be committed to that because committing is not just into business and only or, or anything that we've talked about here. It could be committing to pursuing a friendship with someone who may need that at that point in time. You know what I mean? So um, there are times when God will open the doors and will tell you, Maze, this is the time I'm open. I've given grace. Open, open up to this person. Open up to this situation. I want to challenge you to go and try that at home. Just listen to him. Listen to what he's telling, talking to you about in terms of commitment, committing to something. And I feel like, you know, for me as Daniel, I've learned that committing gives you a certain satisfaction. Um, it kind of gives the... You, you, you feel like there's a belonging. Mm. You know what I mean? Like it's no longer at a, now I'm hoping from one thing to another, from one, you know what I mean? Mm. And I think that's, that's the whole thing about, I mean, the, the beauty of, of, of um, committing to something. I know we, we, I was even uh, arranging certain questions about committing to a life partner, mm -hmm. which um, I might ask a few questions here and there, but <laughs> like, what do you guys, let me just ask, this is random. If your hus husband to be king and said, Manze, I, I can marry you, but at the same time, maybe, I don't know, let me think about it. What would happen? Let me put it in that light, because that, now that will help you, help us even at home understand what commitment is like. What, what would your reaction be? Exactly. I'm, like, <laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm sorry, what? That. Yeah. So yeah. what are we doing? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. No, no, no. We stop this until you're sure. Until you're sure. That this is what you want, until you're ready to commit. Absolutely. Yeah. I like that. How about you? Whatever is making you doubt, <laughs> think twice, yeah. go there. You go want there. to be an option. Oh, shoo! <laughs> yeah! Hey, that's fire. That's fire. It's life. Yeah. I know. It's I life. Understand. I know. I understand. <laughs> and and it's, it's that whole thing of it's to be the main thing or none at all. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. I like that because you know what, it, what that shows me is that commitment to literally anything is making it the main thing and everything else yep. is a by the way. Yeah. You know what I mean? So even if it is pursuing a work with Christ, this has been said over and over. We've had episodes even here talking about a work with Christ and all that. But there is making something the main thing. Mm. Like, and you know, there's no way me I can tell you what is the main thing for you. At home, you know, you know what is the main thing for you. You know what it is that drives you, that pushes you every day. That the relationship with God that you know you ought to be having with Him. You can. It's never too late. You can commit to it because, like, I'm like we've heard here. Even me, if I had, I know it's very rarely safe. But like, if if it was a lady who was like. Uh, or, I'm not or you, so sure. Yeah, I'm not so sure. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe just like one of the others. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna yeah. be like, okay, that's just that just cannot happen. I yeah. mean, yeah. you did the whole proposal. Yeah. And then they're like, um, yeah. you know, <laughs> yeah. you know. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Yeah, let's talk about it. Yeah. About it. <laughs> and and after and, and that's after pursuing someone for such a long time. Mm. You see, so I think I like the light in which relationship kind of brings that out because you see that it's either the main thing or nothing at all you know mm. what i mean yeah so commitment is a is a word it's a simple word a huge word for those who may want to uh, complicate it but it really is just pursuing something yeah. and giving it your all mm -hmm. yeah. by christ's strength like we've yeah. said as through, through christ who strengthens us because boils down to everything at some point in time and if god is not with you in the middle of it you'll feel like now you're running on some car force that is not even there you mm -hmm. it's like a string that someone is pulling you by a rope and is hepping your hand you know what i mean yeah, yeah so and on, on that same line you know there's a scripture that um talks about a man um no one builds a city without first cons uh, counting the cost right mm -hmm. and someone does not just go to war and that's in luke uh, 14 uh, from 20, verse 28 you do, a man does not just go to war without first counting the cost. So I want to help you at home. You don't necessarily have to start knowing by knowing uh, what it is. I mean, and, and God will give you revelation. He will help you understand. He will make you know there's some things that you're passionate about and stuff like that. But before you even, I mean, like even in co being committed to that, you need to count the cost. And, you know, it's, it's that whole thing of um, you're being committed to something 
but you know what it will cost you. Mm-hmm. It might cost you friends off mm-hmm. your shoulder. Mm-hmm. Um, it might cost you um, like you change maybe even where you stay and stuff like that. Um, it might it will it will definitely have a cost. Yeah. But then so therefore I want to ask um, Sheila, mm-hmm. has your life changed a little bit or even a lot mm-hmm. based on? The, like even now taking on Elevate TV, the show. She also does an, another show, by the way, on Elevate TV or the business. Have things? Has there been a cost to that? The yeah. Time? Yes. Right. Like this year, I've done so much. Um, I've done so much. Right. In terms of there's a lot. There's been a lot to get done. Yeah. So like I've given a lot of my time mm. to everything that I'm doing. Mm. Um, I think. I've only had one day, like since the beginning of this year, right. to just sit at, as in since first January, to just mm. sit at home. Mm. Um, but it's a good thing. It's a good thing to yeah. be busy and to be productive because it's not just being a busy body. We can see the fruits of, you know, the busyness. Mm. So absolutely, there's been a cost to all that. There's been a cost to commitment because mm. you're committing to something that means you're getting responsibilities. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can just up and like. Mm leave your yeah. business or you leave <laughs> like you have a show like and yeah. then go to some like it's responsibilities that you're 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 um taking upon yourself yeah. because now there's things that are dependent on you, on you. to happen right yeah, yeah? Right. so you can't just up and leave or whatever whatever mm. which is a good thing because mm. if you go about life without responsibilities then there's something that's amiss yeah. yeah yeah and there's there's no form of commit i'm using the word commitment yet but there's no form of belonging to what you yeah. put on the earth to do yeah yeah about and you? also there is no form of growth yes right? because now there's nothing happening yeah yes. i think the cost of everything i do now is weighing down on my friendships mm-hmm. <laughs> because like now i don't have my weekends mm-hmm. and all the days that i could have to just go out you know do this nini yeah. nini mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. i love it and the cost of peace of mind because if i'm not thinking about one thing i'm thinking about the next right. because everything has to work right yeah. right right so there is a cost of what i'm gathering from you guys and and many times it might not even be it can be it can be a financial cost it can be a cost in terms of your friendship and that's what it costs i mean you have to be so let me talk about christ let me bring him into the picture in this way um being the messiah mm. like he knew what he had to do like he was born to do it to die and to save us from sins now i want you you know there are times when even his own disciples will not understand what he's doing there are countless of scriptures where he's like and he will cause he, he will give understanding to and i'm not paraphrasing those who will see him will be those who actually be open uh, who's who the father grants access to see him uh, for who he is in mm-hmm. this earth and so like there are times when his own disciples would not like they would not know what he's doing like why why are you allowing this lady to anoint this is expensive oil on your feet why are you allowing her to do that you mm-hmm. know what i mean like why uh, you know and so christ is like you know if you understood what it was she was doing she's preparing me for my burial and all that then they're like aha moments mm-hmm. oh so now we get it you know what i mean so there are times when there'll be that when that happens when people don't understand christ would go on onto the mountain would seclude himself and go to pray upon the mountain and come back we having revived in his spirit mm-hmm. miracles happen and all that you know what i mean so there's always a cost for those who are watching at home there's always a cost to commitment don't be afraid of it i know we've talked about the cost but don't be afraid of it committing is as easily as just saying christ this idea by the way just come from come through for me i know i'm probably in i'm stuck in the rut i'm in a situation where i'm working nine to five and i feel like there's no commitment to what i ought to be doing on this earth mm-hmm. i know that because i've been there i've been there in a nine to five situation and manzi i was just like where what happens to to me being put on this earth? what happens to me as the, the the disciple i'm supposed to be after christ you know what i mean so being committed guys just committed to christ i know for me in the nick of time i can count a number of situations where in the nick of time when i felt like i was dying christ is like this is the solution i want to give you i was just testing you i wanted to see how far you could stretch this is what i want you to do so hanging there commitment yeah. is a huge word it's, it's like a, is it an eight uh, nine word no no nine letter word. c-o-m-m-i <laughs> Commitment. C O M M I T T T. T. M E N T. So it's like a ten word, a ten letter word, but it is as easy as just commit, like like allowing and asking Christ to help you with that which is your life purpose. You know what I mean? So, so guys, um, I, I know. One are, thing. Yeah. Sorry. One thing that I think is like 
people are scared about of is that English? One thing that scares people about commitment. Mix. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mix. One thing that scares people about commitment is that you lose options. Right. Because you've now chosen something. Mm. Mm. Um, talk about relationships. Yeah. Like, many people are scared to commit to one person because mm. they like the attention of the five yes. people mm. that, mm. you know, oh. they're like, oh, I, ha I like having options. I like, <laughs> I like weighing my options. So, when yeah. I'm saying I make up with options like a whole year just because yeah. I like it. Yeah. And then when it comes to actually make time, it's time to make a decision. They're mm. like, I don't like it. I understand. Yeah. I understand what because people want options and they want to feel like if I do, if it doesn't work with this one, then ah, it can work I with can, this one. Yes. Yeah. They yes. don't. They don't want to go like full on. Right. And, yeah. and forgetting the situation where Peter was told, okay, now it is, it is I come walk and walk on the water. Exactly what you refer to mm. when you talk about your business, walking on the water. So if the guy the guy stepped out and he he walked a certain distance all of a sudden he was like z so christ had to come and help him out but you see it's that whole thing of keeping your eyes keeping your yeah. eyes locked on to that which christ has told you to do keep it regardless and it happens in different ways you see i don't want to make it seem as there's only one way that happens there are so many ways that can happen so so guys i mean it's as simple if even if if all you go at home with is focusing on christ who is telling you to walk on the water mm. that's all you need to know for today like committing is as simple as looking at him looking at him regardless of what's happening yeah the tempest that's happening you know what i mean mm. like the tempest is all part of the the game quote unquote is part of the game it's all that has to happen in this life you wonder about it even in the scriptures and all that but keeping your eyes locked on to jesus hear that if there's something you would want people to go home with today maybe like in a minute or two what what is what is, what is it about commitment would you want to share with them god has put everyone on the earth for a particular purpose mm -hmm. so i hope that sooner or later or you have already found it mm -hmm. once you find it and you're sure it is focus focus on that particular thing mm -hmm. and learn to do it the way god would have you do it asking him meditating reading his word everything also do not box yourself mm -hmm. you can do so many things in one field mm -hmm. you are made mm -hmm. for more yeah. i can do all things he didn't say one thing yeah. he said i can do all things through christ who strengthens me so all the best yeah. Yeah. how about sheila uh i think what i'd tell anyone that's watching is yo commit like that thing you've been wanting to do um commit just do it because if you don't you will never know You'll never know if you would have worked. So um, commit, commit, fix your eyes on Jesus, walk out the boat, leave the fear on the boat and just go. Like, you yeah. know, that's the whole, that's the whole thing. That's the whole attitude. Pray, make sure that you've prayed up, make sure that you have your confidence in Christ and not on your ability to do this or that or in your ability to do whatever, but having confidence in the ability that Jesus Christ has. Yeah, the Bible says, um, I am self-sufficient in Christ's sufficiency. So yes, you can do this through Jesus Christ. So go ahead, commit, and don't be scared. Watch what God will, will do in and through you. Um, and he won't let you down. Like trusting in God is such a beautiful thing. It's a place of rest. Yeah. And so once you commit, rest and let God work in you. Exactly, exactly. I would tell you the what ifs, the what ifs that we have mm. in our mind many times ought not to be there if we just commit to what God tells us to do. You know what I mean? So it's beyond beyond knowing what to do to avoid doubt. Like I think doubt we've, we've gathered from, from Sheila and from Hilda that there's doubt. There are times when we probably want the attention or we, we are not necessarily uh, in a place where we feel like we're strong enough and i think mm. that's one word we can also bring it to light um uh, we feel like we're not strong enough and i think we gauge that based on our own strength and we're like hey and say what if i go into this and it buckles on me and i get so embarrassed and stuff like that guys there are times in life when you will and must be embarrassed in some form of way and it will be against what the, the norm that you know i know for certain i had to commit to there's a time when Christ had to break me out of my own habit of wanting to plan everything or get things like 
be always be in my own time in dance time yani i did it well that was good that's 10 minutes down and i, I finished the assignment <laughs> and he had to break me so that i can learn how to accommodate people who are not like that and because i would not have learned how to accommodate people who are who are probably spontaneous mm. great connections are made over time uh, i had to commit to to undoing the part of me that was not in line with god's purpose so um it is possible guys what don't listen to the what if voices those great voices that are in between are not necessarily for you they're not for you so just release them and allow christ to be the only voice the constant voice that is speaking to you committing to that it could be a relationship i know that for sure i know like we've talked about here um i can see eyes looking aside and all that but it could be a relationship <laughs> it could be a relationship guys commit to that one person there's fulfillment in that there's fulfillment in following the purpose yeah. for which god has put you on this earth and there will be signs and wonders that follow that because you will be not working things on your own strength you'll be working things through him who gives you strength so it could be a person it could be a life purpose like we've talked about here today it could be something that you're trusting god for committing to praying like and say god i want to be able to every morning wake up at five regardless of the fact that everyone is asleep nice. yeah it's a commitment yeah, everyone is asleep but i want to i want to put you first and, and the first in my day because i know if i don't do that i know how my life has been so i, I want to do it and there's no alternative and he will take you at your word for that as long as you're committed to that and committed to focusing on him mm. just like peter was told focus on me like he was told to walk and to come towards christ all he had to do was to focus on christ so as you you who's at home remember to keep your focus on him he's the one who's going to help you with that commitment help you see it through um year after year and year after year begins with day after day yeah day after day after day after day and that will make a year mm. so thank you thank you uh hilda and sheila for your parting shots um i know we almost are, are done guys thank you for tuning in to spot on Thank you for participating with us. We want to improve on our feedback. So please uh, give us um, your comments. I know I have a number of friends of mine who are asking me whether we have a place like when it's live where, where we can comment and stuff like that. We will get back to you based on if, you, if we have lines that are running on the, on, the, on the screen. We have Elevate TV Kenya, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Um, videos will be up soon. Um, I, and so we will be interacting with you guys. Just leave the comments there and let us know what it is you'd like us to talk about. This is life. We're not pretending to be life we want to live life and not just speak life you know what i mean um yeah. so keep it keep interacting with us just let your questions keep flowing uh, we will definitely respond to them and we will feature you by the way if, if you want some questions uh, answered here we will try to do that in um, preferably in our future episodes but guys thank you for tuning in as always it's been a pleasure hosting you guys um my friend hilda and sheila have all also enjoyed themselves um we were talking about how we miss billy we hope billy will come back in the next ep episodes um but guys thank you thank you thank you thank you keep it locked in on elevate tv kenya spot on six to seven p.m. on Saturdays. Bye from me.